Do you see spider. one? What is that? Oh, I know that. It's, it's wait, a, wait, snail. Wait. a snail. We're trying to introduce nature into the experiences of everyday life of children in childcare centers and all of the beneficial effects that that offers in terms of helping to reduce stress, boosting the immune system, early brain development, and many other things. Perfect. Looking good, friends. POD, or Preventing Obesity by Design, was launched in 2007, but it grew out of professionals interested in outdoor learning. We started to work originally with three centers in uh, North Carolina, in Wake County. The concept gradually grew. This was working statewide. It's based on the notion of intervening in the physical environment of childcare centers uh, to improve the quality, to add many more components than they typically have, and that stimulates children's play and movement, hence higher levels of physical activity, affecting obesity rates, and then we also put a big emphasis on healthy eating and engaging three and four-year-olds in gardening uh, based on the assumption, which is pretty obvious, I think, to most people. If children are engaged in growing their own fruit and vegetables very early in life, they will keep those good habits as they grow older. You can see that growth in the enthusiasm of the children, just the sheer joy of being outside uh, much more than they used to be, being really engaged with these very diverse, naturalized uh, environments. Parents are also beginning to understand the importance of this way of uh, learning for their children and the importance of the outdoor environment in childcare centers to the point where some of our leading centers in Wake County um, use it as a marketing uh, added value to what they offer. We have a, a collaborative of teachers within those centers working with each other. It is uh, very exciting to see how these teachers are innovating things in their own way, in their own centers, sharing that information with each other. And in fact, so we've now um, really come to a point where we're learning from the centers instead of the other way around. The POD project becomes a centerpiece for, of community life. The teachers are involved, the parents are involved, the older children are involved, uh, everybody gets to say what they think and become part of the action and then over the course of time uh, have a sense of ownership of what's being created.